This video is about how to experimentally determine calcium and magnesium ions concentration by EDTA titrations. Ethylene diamine tetracytic acid, better known as EDTA, is a strong compound that forms one-to-one -one ratio complex with most metal ions. When a metal ion is added to EDTA, they form a complex in which the carboxyl group's negative charges form bonds with the positive charged metal ions. For the purpose of this experiment, this reaction happens in a one-to-one -one ratio with both calcium and magnesium ions. So in this example, we have 250 milliliters of a sample of limestone dissolved in acid, which contains an unknown concentration of calcium and magnesium ions. So for each titration, we will measure out a 50 milliliter aliquot using a burette for accuracy. To this 50 milliliter aliquot, we are going to add three more things. We first are going to add a buffer in order to make this aliquot basic then potassium cyanide and indicator. Potassium cyanide is an auxiliary complexing agent that binds ions other than magnesium and calcium. In the experiment, it has the purpose to complex with any other ions so they don't interfere with the titration. However, before adding potassium cyanide, it's necessary for us to add basic buffer. It is important for us to keep a basic pH in this experiment since if we have an acidic environment, protons will bind to CN forming HCN gas, which is very toxic. We're also going to add an indicator, which is chalcomite, which is color blue. The indicator, once it binds magnesium, it forms a white red color which we can see af right after we add the indicator to our aliquot. To titrate our aliquot, we will be using a solution of 0.01 molar EDTA and 1 millimolar magnesium chloride. Before we start the titration, the Erlenmeyer flask contains a mixture of free calcium and magnesium ions and calgamite indicator complexed with magnesium, which give it a wine red color. Once we start the titration, the free calcium and magnesium ions will complex with the added EDTA. Then, the EDTA will pull away magnesium ions from the calgamite indicator until the color of the solution goes to first purple, then blue, which indicates the end of the titration. At this point, we measure the volume of EDTA used. In our example, we use an average volume of 38.5 milliliters of the 0.01 molar EDTA to titrate our aliquot. This is equal to 0.0385 liters. This, multiplied by the concentration of EDTA, 0.01 moles per liter, gives us the number of moles of EDTA used. Since the reaction between both calcium and magnesium ions and EDTA happens in a one-to-one -one ratio, this is also the total number of moles of calcium and magnesium in our aliquot. This, divided by the volume of the aliquot, 50 milliliters, which is 0.05 liters, gives us the cumulative concentration of our unknown for magnesium and calcium ions.